Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can run Recta from your Windows computer. Now here are all the details about Recta. In short, Recta will automatically help you upgrade your codes from PHP 5.3 to 8.2 as of now. So it is automated refactoring. Here are all the details for those who want to know more, along with the installation codes. And you can also explore Rector rules to understand what codes will be updated. Anyway, now to use this on your PC, we need a couple of softwares. So let's download them all. First, we need to download PHP. Go to php.net slash downloads.php. Current stable version is this one. Click on Windows Download and download the zip file. So this is the current release. 8.3 for now is not released. So let's download the zip file. So it has been downloaded. Show in the folder. So here is the file. However, before extracting it, let's also download other software. Let's close this. Now we also need a composer. Go to gitcomposer.org slash download and simply download and run this. So it is done. Now the final software we need is 7-Jip. Go to 7-Jip.org and download as per your requirements. So all of these files have been downloaded. So here are these three files to run Rector on your PC. First, extract these PSP files. Please do this before running the composer. I will extract these to the desktop. Let me create a folder PHP. Extract to PSP folder. So the file has been extracted. Open this PHP folder. We need to change this PHP INE dash development name. Simply remove the development from it. Yes. So it has been done. Now, we also need to add this path to environment variables. Copy this. On the start menu, type environment variables and click on this system environment variables. Click on environment variables. On path, click on edit. New. Control plus V. OK. OK. And OK. So this is done. After that, we need to install Composer. Double click on it. Install for all users. Please note, you must first extract this PHP file as Composer will auto detect the php.exe link. Anyway, now finish the installation. So the installation has finished. Now the final thing is to install this 7-chip. Copy this path and install. We need to add the path to environment variables too. Type environment variables, environment variables, path, edit, new, control V, OK. So everything has been done. Now open the command prompt. Run it as an administrator. Let's navigate to this folder. For that, type cd. Copy the folder link and paste it here. So we are inside the folder. Now check if PHP has been properly installed or not. Simply type php-v. If this shows the PHP version, it has been successfully installed. Now let's run some commands. Let's run this composer command. Copy it paste here and enter. Now this will take some time as it will download some required files. So it is all done and we will be using this Rector version. Now let's create a Rector.psv file. Copy this code and type php space and paste the code. Make sure to write php in front. Yes and enter. So a Rector.php file has been created. 
simply go to the PSP folder and you will find the Richter.php file here. Open the file. You can use Notepad++ or simply Notepad. I will use a Notepad. We need to replace this code to test if everything is working or not. Copy the code. Replace it here. Make sure to have this PHP at the top. It is done and save it. Now let's dry run this. Type PHP and paste the code. So it is running all good. Now again try to run this. PHP and paste code. So this basically means we have done everything correct. Now to update your old code to newer PHP version, use this code. It will update the PHP version. Simply copy the whole code and paste it to rector.php file. This will update to PHP 8.2. You can change this to as you want, like 8.1 is for 8.1 and so on. Now we need to replace this address with files with old PHP versions. Let me quickly insert a USB drive. It has files with old PHP versions. Let me copy this to the desktop. So all the files are not compatible to PHP 8.2. Let's upgrade it. For that, we need to add the address here. Copy the folder's address and paste it here. And save the Richter.php file. Now we need to run some command. Copy this code, but we need to remove this src. Write php. Copy the code. And remove the src. And copy the code and paste it to cmd. Now this dry run will only let you know the files that will be changed. It will not modify the actual files. So 10 files will be changed. If you want to change the codes, then we need to run another command. Copy this code, type php and paste it and remove the src. So this will modify the actual codes. So all the files have been modified. Basically, now these files should be compatible with PHP 8.2. Try it to see if this works or not. And then you can close this. If you want to read on Rector for other files after closing it, simply open command prompt as administrator. Navigate to the PSP folder. Then run the composer command. Then modify your Rector.php file as required. And then run these commands without SRC. We really hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much.